Peace. It's Equality Fragrances coming to you from Prince George's County, Maryland. Welcome to my cipher. The cipher is a person, place, a thing within my circumference, the understanding of my cipher. It's peace. For all those new to the channel and those who have been supporting me since day one, I humbly appreciate all your support. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell so you'll be notified when I drop some new videos. All of that goes a long way in helping the channel grow, and it costs you nothing to do. With that being said, if you have any questions for me, don't forget to follow me on IG. A link will be in the description. You can inbox me. I answer all my inbox messages as long as you are following me. Now, come on in, sit down, and let's build. Story time. I got a call from a fragrance house that I absolutely love. The house that we're going to be discussing today, Unique A Luxury. And he hit me up in my inbox on IG and said, um, Equality, um, I like what you're doing. I want to send you a gift, our new fragrance. I said, all right, cool. You know, I definitely respect, I appreciate it. Um, he said, do you like patchouli? I said, do I like patchouli? Uh, yeah. Like, here's my top, here's a link to my top 15 patchouli fragrances within my collection. He looked at it and said, ah, oh, yeah, I don't need to see that. You can go ahead and delete that because the video doesn't matter because this is going to be your number one patchouli fragrance. <laughs> that is tough words, especially when you know what's in my top five. Let's quickly go over my top five. Psychedelic at number five. Cakey, chocolatey, earthy, ambery patchouli. Number four. Coromandel. White chocolate, musky, bright, ambery, earthy patchouli. My number three, Perfume Aromas Patchouli. Ambery. Sometimes I don't know if this is a patchouli fragrance or amber fragrance, but it's patchouli, ambery, smoky, resinous. A little goes a long way. My number three patchouli. Zhirzhov Richwood, Maso Sandalwood with patchouli, a very clean, not even earthy patchouli. Like if patchouli could be washed and cleaned up and dried out, that's what this would smell like with that musk and the citrus is up top. So it's a little powdery, which is very reminiscent to Chanel's Coromandel, but they go in different directions because Coromandel has white chocolate. This doesn't really get chocolatey and this has Maso Sandalwood. My number one patchouli, which is a grail to me. You have to be a patchouli lover to really, truly appreciate this fragrance. It is earthy, soily, boozy, leathery, woody, chocolatey. And that is from the house of Larisa Legrand, and that's Horizon. This is a grown man's patchouli. This ain't for children. So for him to say that his new fragrance is going to compete with those, it's saying a lot. So let's go ahead and get down to the presentation and spray it on and discuss the fragrance. So let's quickly go over what you get when you order this fragrance. You get a little like ribbon that says Unique A Luxury. That's a nice touch. Let's get to the box. The box is red in color. It's their special edition box and it has Unique A Luxury up top. X-ray the parfum. In the back has all the information, but the difference it is has the name of the fragrance and has all the notes. Since it's here, let's just read them off. Y'all know I like to experience the fragrance, but the notes are here, so let's just read it off. You have lime, ginger, magnolia, saffron, rose, caramel, patchouli, musk, and ambergris. That note breakdown sounds absolutely ridiculous. Like, good in a good way. So the top comes off. Inside you have like this little envelope, you open it up and it comes with two like postcards. One is a thank you postcard, like thank you for buying the fragrance postcard. And then the second one is a postcard of all their fragrances and the note breakdown of each individual one. Inside you have the new presentation for the bottles. And it sets inside this nice and sturdy plaque new top has this like gem right here the u for unique a luxury up top and um 
and it probably won't show up on camera, but they have like a, a U for the Unique A Luxury symbol there. So let's just, that's the presentation for those who care. I mean, it matters to some people. Let's get on with the good mess. Damn. Okay. What am I getting? I'm getting that bright spicy. And that's probably coming from the lime and the ginger. A nice, spicy, bright ginger. It's there. And it, it's there. It's noticeable. I'm also getting that saffron and I'm getting caramel. Now, the caramel is silky. If I could close my eyes and describe how I would think this caramel would look, it would be light brown in color and very silky, smooth caramel. And I'm getting this green, woody, slightly earthy, soily, patchouli, wow, whoa, okay, real quick, so I don't make it too long, Wait, first impressions, because... <laughs> Y'all all know my first impression is going to rather be, after I've worn it four times, going to be better than my first impression. It's going to be, or I'm going to temper down, it's not going to be as good. But for the first impressions on how I feel about this fragrance, I like it better than Psychedelic. I like it better than Cora Mandel. Um, I like it better than Perfume Aroma Patchouli. It's more wearable. For even not a patchouli lover, this is wearable. Richwood? <clears throat> Depends on what kind of mood I'm in and where I'm going and when I'm going to wear this. And the reason I say that is Crush On Me has this gourmand. It's like a gourmand, woody, earthy patchouli. It's because they're caramel. So, if I'm in a gourmand, warm, cooler weather kind of feel, I would probably reach for Crush On Me more. If I'm suited up, I'm going somewhere elegant and I just want to smell absolutely phenomenal in almost any season, I might wear this because this has no dirt on it. Do I like it better than Horizon? That's a good question. Now, do I like it better than Horizon? I don't know if I do like it better than Horizon. What I will say is Horizon is for a patchouli lover. If you sort of like patchouli and it's kind of cool, but you ain't really, you know, tripping off patchouli, um, you would like Crush On Me better than Horizon. So this fragrance has the potential to be your all time favorite patchouli easily. Let me let this settle down. Come back in about 15, 10 minutes and tell you what I think of the fragrance. So I'm back with the dry down. And all I can say is, wow. Um, so let's talk about it. Let, let me tell you, simplify the dry down. Get yourself Baccarat Rouge 540. But without the latex vibe, but that almost crystallized sugary aspect of it. Add a nice, creamy, silky, sweet caramel drizzle over top that composition a nice bouquet or floral chord to me rose as of yet rose doesn't really stand out over the magnolia and vice versa i just get this nice bouquet like walking into a floor shop and they have a lot of different flowers just a nice elegance to it a ambery vanillic ambery base some earthy, woody patchouli. That's how I would describe this fragrance to somebody who 
want to actually know what it smells like. This is a fragrance that if you aren't really like a patchouli lover, but you love gourmands, the, the people who like psychedelic and think in their psychedelic is like their best patchouli of all time will absolutely go bonkers over this fragrance. Do I like it better than my number one Horizon from Larisa Le, um, Legrand? Um, um, I don't know. But this is a very mature patchouli, and you must be a patchouli. You have to like patchouli to really appreciate this. You really have to like patchouli to appreciate this. You don't really have to like patchouli that much to appreciate this. So it makes that more wearable. As I wear this, I will decide if I like this better than Horizon. But right now, this is probably my number two favorite patchouli within my collection. Easily. And that's because I like gourmand. Man, I'm not really getting the musk in it. I'm not. I'm, I'm just not. Not yet. Maybe after a couple of wearings, it might stand out to me a little bit later. But that's my thoughts. The price point for this fragrance is three hundred and forty dollars. Now, that is expensive. So I know somebody's gonna say, "Well, equality. It got sent to you. You're just a shield for the company." That's a reasonable expectation. I understand why you would say that. Unfortunately, I have fragrances in my collection that I pay for that cost way more. Or right in the ballpark. Let's start with Killian Straight to Heaven Extreme. Even on the low end, you're going to pay about $320 for this. You're going to pay $320. And it's going to cost you more than that if you get it re if you ever find it retail because it was a limited release. You're going to pay like $350 plus for a 50 ml. Nishan A. Neff. I paid for this. I own it. We don't need to know how much this costs. And that's even on the low end for 50 ml. That's going to run. Royal Crown Sultan. Retail, you already know. Retail, I believe this is up almost in $500 range. I think it might be like 475, 400 ml. But on even on the low end, you're paying close to three. For this maybe 250 on the low end if you can find it somewhere so with that said would this be bottle worthy in my collection if i just had a 2ml sample and sampled it yeah this would have made its way in my collection i like it that much yes it would have definitely a fall winter playful date night scent it's cozy it's warm it's a lawn would I wear this suited up? Uh, that gourmand nature, I, it, it, it's, it, it depends on the mood. When I want to really be dressed up, dressed up, I really don't typically go gourmands unless I'm on a date dressed up. So I don't know if I would do it for that. Um, so in my last video, what did I tell y'all? I don't really need any more bottles, right? So I'm going to do what I said I'm going to do. And I'm going to give two people an opportunity to win 10 ml sample of this fragrance i'm gonna break it down right after i finish doing this video label it up and have it ready to go to the lucky two winners now in order to be entered into this unfortunately this is only going to be for subscribers within the states it's not cost efficient for me to send it outside of the country or even outside the states it's not cost efficient for me so to be entered into the giveaway you must say giveaway enter your city and state that is it you can leave a whole bunch of other comments i appreciate your content blah 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 blah. but you have to have within there is giveaway city and state and you must be subscribed to me if you win and i see you not subscribed to me um i'm gonna move on to the next person i'm just gonna be totally honest with you i'm gonna move on to the next so make sure that's the case in about a week's time i think next wednesday i will announce the winners uh, so I'll give it a week. I'll announce the winners and we'll go from there. With that being said, I'm going to continue to test this and then I'll come back with a full review at a later date. I'm going to leave you the way I greeted you. And that's the universal language of peace.